In this presentation, we will take a look at revenue sources and classification. Revenue generally includes all financial resource inflows. Revenues are classified by fund and then by source and then by secondary class. Source classes of revenue include taxes, special assessments, license and permits, intergovernmental revenues, charges for services, and fines and forfeitures. Tax revenue, recognized on a modified accrual basis, so modified accrual as opposed to the accrual, accrual basis, recognized when revenue is measurable and available. When we think of the accounting basis, we typically think of a cash basis versus an accrual basis, and somewhere in between are usually going to be some other type of basis, such as a modified accrual basis we can generally think of as kind of a hybrid between a pure tax base or pure cash base or a pure accrual base whenever we think about a method also we're typically thinking of when do we recognize revenue when do we recognize expenses so when do we recognize revenue under a cash basis when do we recognize revenue under an accrual basis and then under the modifications any kind of modified method typically being somewhere in the middle in terms of when we would recognize revenue and expenses here being under the modified accrual on the revenue side recognize revenue when is measurable and available. Tax types include property taxes, sales taxes, income tax, and death tax or estate tax, as well as interest and penalties can be included, of course, in the taxes. So these are going to be the taxes that can be assessed to government agencies then having the right, of course, to tax. That's going to be one of the major revenue sources available. If the taxes aren't paid, then they have the ability to assess interest and penalties on them which we can consider, in essence, part of that taxation. Tax recognition. Revenue from sales tax and income tax is recognized in the period which the underlying event takes place. So when we're talking about taxation related to sales tax and income tax, we're going to apply them to the related item. In terms of the sales tax, when did the sale happen? That's the period that we want to apply the sales tax to. In terms of the income tax, when was the income earned? And that can get a little bit messy, of course, because when was the income earned? When did the sale happen? Could be a different date than when the sales tax is actually paid or even assessed. In other words, of course, we have to know how much income we earned and then know what our tax rate is in order to calculate what the uh, appropriate income uh, tax would be. So so we have, in essence, a timing difference. We're away from a cash basis. We're not recognizing these items or the revenue related to the sales tax and income tax when we receive them. We're going to recognize them when basically the triggering event happened, which is closer to what we would think of as an accrual basis. Under an accrual basis, we recognize revenue when we have earned it. Here we're saying, well, when have we earned it? We're recognizing it basically at the triggering event. And that's going to be the point of sale and the income earned as opposed to waiting until we receive that revenue in order to record it. Intergovernmental revenues, grants and other financial assistance are transactions in which one government transfers cash or other items of value to or incurs a liability for another government, an individual or an organization as a means of sharing program costs, subsidizing other governments or entities or otherwise reallocating resources to the recipients that per GASB. License and permits, another form of revenue. License and permits could include building permits, vehicle license, a business license, and animal license. These are different types of license we could have, which of course would result in revenue, governmental revenue of some kind. Charges for services. What kind of services could a government charge? We have court costs. We have parking meters. We have recording fees. We have special uh, police service, tuition, and zoning fees. All areas where we have charges for services provided more of a kind of a business type of activity that you would expect from governments. In other words, service being provided, revenue being generated, charges for the service or in alignment with the goods and services being charged. 